model Abby Clancy recently put her foot in it when she packed a bag for her soccer star fiancé, Peter Crouch. Helping him get ready for last month's friendly against Egypt, she put two left shoes into the bag by accident. Now, Peter only realised as he boarded the bus to Wembley, but because of the strict dress code enforced on players, a pair of size 12s had to be found so he could go on the trip. So, a near miss there for Crouch, but uh, should you, anyway, be the one who uh, packs your man's bag? Bags, or should he do it himself? Do you pack Tim's bags? No, I don't. I feel a bit. I, I don't really feel guilty, but I, I, years ago, for some reason, I always used to pack his bag, and I think that. What he liked about it was that he felt that it was one of the few nurturing little things that I used to do. Do you know what I mean? It was sort of like looking after him and packing, but that didn't last very long. Um, and, now, and now I don't because I just, because I just, don't, have the, I, I just don't have the time. Except, you know, that's not true. If it's just like a little trip, he, uh, he, he, he does his own. If we go on holiday, the only reason I do is because I can't bear the nightmare when I get there. But what really gets me is about, and it is a sort of a generalisation about men, I suppose, but is that I, I pack all the suitcase and I know where all the summer gear is and I pack everything and I do all... And, and all he does is he hears that we're going on holiday and then he just ends up in the resort. That's it. That's all he does. But you can guarantee that he'll open the case and go, I kind of believe he didn't bring that belt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That one, that one belt. And I've always thought it would be like a really good, like a little reality thing, just to say to your husband, right, from, from this moment now, we're going on holiday and just see how far they would get. In until we got to work. well, it's just in terms, to them, of, in terms yeah. of everything of packing the holiday, of packing the bag, and just see what we would have clothes-wise when we get there. I'm really lucky. Steve does all our packing. He doesn't. Oh, he your do, packing. No, he doesn't do does mine. Yours. No, he doesn't do mine. But he does um, the kids, and he does his. Because I'm, I'm rubbish. I would, you know, I'd pack half of something and not the other, and I'd be doing an Abby Clancy. I'd be two left shoes. I'm terrible. Oh no, I can't. I'm just a brilliant do packer. Are you? Yeah, brilliant. I'm really, really. I, I can sing. Well, and you I pack can a pack. lot. <laughs> Maybe you can do it on the world song. You can do pack your uh, travels. No, I tell you because um, I did perfect the art of uh, travelling light for a very long time, and you know, taking a very small bag and just getting as much as possible into it without it breaking. So I'm very, very good at it, but I refuse to do Mark's packing. I just refuse because it just feels like something your mother would do, and I just don't want to. Go feel there, like I'm his there, mother, yeah. you know, do his packing. So I make him do it. I don't make him do it. And he gets you all his stuff. Make him do I it. do make him do it. <laughs> <laughs> he gets all his stuff out, but he always says, which, which bag shall I take? I'm like, oh, I don't care. Take whichever bag you like. So he gets the biggest bag there is and then puts it all in. But the, the suitcase has got two sides to it, and he puts it all in one side, and Aww. then tries to squash it shut. And well, then he's probably never had to do it. He was probably still on his mum's passport when he met you. <laughs> No, but he do, no, he, do, he used to travel very light. He used to take his backpack everywhere. But so I have to take everything out and, and, and pack, pack it, it neatly for him. So I, I don't mind doing that. At least, as long as he makes an effort, I don't but mind. But what is it about men? Because I think men have a problem with packing. Maybe it's not in here. Maybe they don't have a mental packing brain. Because my ex used to pack in little squares. So they, like, wrap, do the shirt, and it would end up that big, and it would all end up in little... Probably, like... Mark in little squares so that you'd end up. And I used to go, but if they were they? Well, that's no, rolling if things up, not rolling, crease. I'm talking about folding. So, but if you lay things out, surely you're getting a lot more room, aren't you? If everything's flat, am I not that's right? That's how they used to pack. I'm sure because that's what my mum and dad. Because still if pack, you pack, now we if sort you of fold, roll everything. I don't up. unpack very often when I get to the, the the place. I bet you do go in and unpack everything straight away. No. Just live out the case. Live out the case. Well, actually, sometimes I do. If I'm going somewhere, like for my 50th, I had to have dresses and things, so I did take them out of the bag. But mm. normally, no, the case gets opened, straight in the room, rummage, 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 find something, that's it. And but go out, and it stays I, like that. And for you the whole told week. me off once when we went to Spain, and I, in my case, you went, Look at the mess in your case. How no. can you see anything? <laughs> and no. she just said she does the same. That's because, <laughs> that's because how you. That's, that's you just opened it. You hadn't even rummaged through it. You opened it. You <laughs> opened it. And it looked like and a couple doing. of puppies had been in there rummaging around looking for something to eat. <laughs> it was all over the place. Don't you do it. You like a re release of that pack up your jumper. <laughs> you would love me a little song, couldn't you? Yeah. Right, I let's could, talk yeah. about money. <laughs>